In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about action cam videos. And basically, they allow you to capture uh, motions, but in a more efficient way. So if you're riding a bike, holding a DSLR would be really difficult. So they make it really tiny for you to take it everywhere. The only downside to these cameras is that you get a little bit of distortion, but in return, you get a really high quality footage. The distortion isn't a big deal because you can easily fix it in post-production. And that's what we're going to focus on today in this lesson. So I have a lot of videos here. Some of them are shot by uh, GoPros and others are just ordinary action videos, meaning that it's just a normal video with some sort of action in it. So regardless of whether you have uh, action cam videos or not, this lesson is all about motions in your videos. So let's get started and see how we can edit these videos. First, let's take a look at examples of action cam videos. This right here is an example. This is a boat ride, but you can clearly tell that there is a distortion in the front. The water is bent and so is the mountains here. This is only happening because of the action cam lens due to the small size of the lens. So this is a pretty normal result that everyone gets when they use action cameras. Some of them can be extreme like this. Other times they could be something like this. We're not getting that much of a distortion compared to the first video, but the distortion is still there. This is another example. You can see everything is rounded. We're getting a fish eye effect because of this lens. And here is another example. This person kept the GoPro on a stick and we're still getting that rounded result in the back. Let's take a look at a video that was not shot by an action camera. This right here was shot uh, with a normal camera. You can see there's barely any distortion and nothing is rounded like it was in the GoPro videos. Here is another example. Again, we're not getting any distortion. The subject is clear and we're getting straight lines instead of curved lines because we don't have any distortion. Here's another example. Now the distortion may look like a big flaw, but it's pretty normal. And if you got this result from your camera, you just need to do a few little clicks on your program and you can easily get rid of the distortion. Nowadays, there are also apps where you can upload your videos and then get a fixed video in return. So you wouldn't have to edit it yourself. You would just upload it there and it will give you a fixed video. Let's go ahead and fix our first video using a tool that we learned called lens correction. Like we said, GoPro cameras have a small lens and that's the reason why we're getting this rounded look. We need to fix what the lens have caught which is this round. Let's click this plus and add this video to our timeline. I will go over here and delete empty tracks. There we are. Let's uh, duplicate this video. Right click, duplicate. Bring the second video on top so we can see a before and after. So this will be our before, this will be our after. Let's turn off before the uh, visibility. Double click on the video below, head over to video basic, scroll down to lens correction, turn this on and choose your camera model. I got this from the internet, so I'm just gonna choose something random. GoPro 6, 2.7K super view. You can adjust the level you can see why it is better. And this was even better. So 2.7K 4x3 wide with the GoPro Hero 6. Take a look at the others.
All right, I'll go with the GoPro Hero 6 and this one. It gives me the best result. You can level this out. This is 100, this is negative 100. I will stick with negative 100. And now this video has been fixed. Hit OK. And now let's see a before and after. This was before, before, after. Bring it here. This was before, this is after. Now if you'd like, you can go uh, double click on the video again, head over to basic, transform, and you can just move it a bit to the side if you want this to be centered or rotate it. If you want, you would have to scale it in a bit and then just rotate. There we go. So this is okay for me. Hit okay. Again, this was before, after. And I have fixed my video. Let's try this on another example. This has multiple scenes, so I would have to use scene detection. Right click, scene detection. Let's detect. And I just want to do a few scenes because there's a lot. Let's try this one. This one is pretty good, so I will get rid of this. Okay, so we have four scenes. These are about the same, so I'll just keep three. Add to timeline. Let's delete the original video and just duplicate this. Select all, right click, duplicate. Bring these over here so we can compare it later. Let's try our first scene. Double click, lens correction, and choose a camera. There we go, this already looks better. Guess something around here. See, you can adjust the slider. I will keep mine at negative 48. Let's play this back and see if it's okay. It's still a little bit round, so let's go and try something else. This is better, so I chose this with this resolution. Hit OK. This is before. And this is after. Before, after. Go back a little. Let's try this scene. Before, after. We kind of stretched out the sides to get a flatter surface. Let's try the other two. Bring this back. Lens correction. There we go. GoPro Hero 4. And I think the wide was better. This was before after. And now let's try the most distorted, which is this one. It's quite literally a circle. So we got to work with this a little bit more than the others. I think I'll stick with the GoPros Super View. Again, you can use the level slider. And now this is pretty good. Play this back. And now this looks a lot better. This was before, after. So you can see with a few simple clicks, you can fix the distortion in your videos. So it's no problem at all. Let's get our final distorted video. Let's mute this first, duplicate it, and fix the video. Choose a scene where there is the most distortion. I'll choose this scene. 
and choose your uh, settings. And there we are. You can always go to transform if you wanted to rotate your video. It's up to you. You would have to scale it in a little bit so you don't get the black bars. These bars down here. Scale it in and there we are. This was before, this is after. Before, after. So this looks like it was shot with a normal camera. Now let's try some fun activities that you could do with stable videos. Like this one. So we have a stable video, but I'm going to purposely distort it to get a cooler effect. Let's go ahead and work with this video. Duplicate it. I'm going to make this video look like a game. So it's like we're playing a game and this boxer character is just uh, fighting with us. So first of all, let's make it look like we're losing the game and this opponent is just way too powerful. Head over to Effects, Utility, and get this effect. Drag it directly on your video. Play this back. And we got a little bit of blurriness because he's just um, really powerful and we're about to faint. Another thing that you could do to make it look more like a game is to grab your, uh, grab a red color. I'll grab this one. Double click on the red, go to color. And we just want to reduce the brightness to get a more uh, blood-like red. And make it look like with every punch, we are just getting weaker and we're about to lose the game. Go to video and just scale this in until it, until it covers your screen, hit okay. Now we have this on top of our video. Double click on the color. Drag the opacity slider. We accidentally made a keyframe here. Let's delete the keyframe. Come at the start and see exactly where the, when the guy is punching us. So let's turn this off for a second. Grab the video, play it, and whenever the glove gets close to us, hit M on your keyboard. So that was one. This is one, hit M, second. Use your left and right arrow keys to move frame by frame. This was a hit, hit M. And just keep doing this until you got some good punches. And now I have four punches that I marked with markers. Adjust the duration of the color, bring it back. Double click on the color, animation, click on your first marker. Add a keyframe, another one on the second marker, third, and fourth. Now we wanna make the color fade out in between these keyframes. First, let's zoom into our timeline, All right? So over here, I want it to be nothing. So just drag the opacity slider to zero and then drag that keyframe and just bring it in closer. So we get a quick animation. Let's check this out. There we are. We want to make another keyframe by lowering the opacity. Another one right here, lower the opacity. After this. And just do this for all the other keyframes. So we need three on every punch or every marker that you kept. There we are. Now just adjust the, uh, the distance so they all look the same. And there we go. They're all equal now. So we're getting this. And then at the end, I want this to fade out because it's a knockout. Grab the video this time and around here, make a keyframe first so it stays 100% uh, until here from the first 
second till this uh, area. And then make another keyframe here with 0% opacity. So we get a black screen. I think I'll make mine like a gray. So keep around 17% or so. Now go to elements and just type in uh, in film stock. Game over. I will download this one. Drag it right here. Let's increase the video, the duration of the video. And reduce the duration of the element. Double click the element and fade it out by adding a keyframe here. And then 0% opacity. Do the same thing for the video. Click this keyframe. Select the video, add, make sure that it is still 17. 17% here, select this one, then the video, drag it to zero. You can increase the duration if it's too short. Let's increase it. Drag the keyframes to the end. Let's play this back. And there we are. We created a game-like screen using one of our action videos. Let's grab this, head over to Effects, Sports, and I got this overlay. There we go. Let's get a glitch uh, effect as well. Weak signal. So this is like a camera that we're looking through. We're getting this glitch effect. Let's put the RGB as well. Looks pretty cool. And you can put a title just to make it look uh, great. I will grab this fitness goals pack title 02, film stock, sports. Drag this on top, double click. Get a suitable font. Let's change the text, Agent Jack. Let's change the font again. I think I will go Orbitron Black. Add a style to make it look uh, more computer-like. There we go, Agent Jack. Go to Advanced animation and get the typewriter effect for agent jack and you can just resize this and put it in the corner hit ok play this back so we're seeing the camera of agent jack that is on a boat ride and that was how you can fix action cam videos and create something cool with them.